This is Bertie, he's the Welsh Terrier. I'm just going to show you how to pop a muzzle on. So this is what we term as either a Baskerville muzzle or a basket muzzle. So these are the muzzles that allow the dog to still pant. So they're very, very good sort of with the animal welfare bill to allowing them to still pant. And it's not totally constricting for a dog. So a couple of no-nos is when you're popping a muzzle on, we don't want our hands going towards the bitey bit like that. Okay, so make sure that you don't have your hands in the way. So one hand is going to take the end of the muzzle and we're going to make sure we've got some lovely long tapes on it. And one hand's going to be out here and we're literally just going to come forward, pop it on and we're going to keep pushing and we're going to pull with this hand. We're going to take our hand round, click it in place and then we're going to just tighten it. So just so I can just get a couple of fingers in there. A lot of dogs will immediately bring their feet up to their face to try and scratch it off. So that's why we want to make sure it's on there fully. So you can use distraction techniques for that. Sometimes another thing that happens is dogs get, know that the muzzle's coming and they start to bite out of you and that can be quite scary. So a lovely invention is one of these. So these are a little palm squeaker. We use these quite a lot in the cellar and then literally they can be used by a different person or you can pop it on the floor under your foot this is just you in the salon. So as you're coming towards to do the muzzle and the dog's going for you, <coughs> couple of squeaks and then we can quickly get it on. And then we're grinding. So it's all it is, they're great little invention. Good boy, good boy. He wants to squeak. He's like, it's a toy, it's a toy. I need to get that. I need to kill it. And it literally distracts them right away from the fact that there's going to be a muzzle going on. So it's a really good, you can take them out of an old toy or you can buy them yourself. They're brilliant if you've got your camera and you want that just that little bit of, yes you do, <laughs> you want that little bit of interaction for your photographs. So when you're taking the muzzle off, again, don't come forward with your hand. It's really switched on with the squeaking now. So we'll pop that over there. So we're gonna release from behind. We're not gonna have our, our, our hand in the biting zone and we can just pull it off and everything's fine. So again, this is a basket or a Baskerville muzzle. They come in all sorts of sizes, I think from number one up to about number 10. Um, and the way that you do it is just remember that the short bit is at the top. Don't go try putting it on this way. So the short piece at the top. And basically you're looking at this length here, which is gonna, typical terrier, which is this length just of the muzzle. Better, better there. Shouldn't you use the squeaker, should you? <laughs> just this length of the muzzle here. But you can see how great the squeaker is for just getting their attention out of the way so you can just pop a muzzle on them.